Hello. Hi, Martin. Okay, I'm gonna pull out all of these. Hello. So I'm going to do a look first and then we're going to do the giveaway. I have, I think, everything ready for both today, I think. Hi, Tammy. Okay, so I'm just going to start with some concealer while everybody's coming on. I am so excited to find out who won. I was thinking of giveaways to do next and let me tell you it's like overwhelming thing okay seriously dude i told him don't call me at eight is there like I don't know if that, maybe I'll turn this on. I am good. How are you? It's been a long day today, so I apologize if I seem a little out of it. It's probably because, like, I've had a very long day. I was over at a friend's holding on to a little baby, but uh, they were doing some pictures for St. Patty's Day, and Avalyn was doing that with them. Um... So she had a lot of fun doing that. And then, of course, with this time change, she's like, I'm not going to bed at this time. And I'm like, oh, yes, you are today. Well, no, actually, she kind of won, too, because I wanted to watch her draw. So, yeah, I just got her into bed, so you might hear her for a little bit. So I apologize now. It's going to be hard to get her to go to bed <laughs> And come the summer, because she's like, as soon as the sun goes down and gets dark, she knows it's bedtime. But uh, if it doesn't get bed night or, you know, sun doesn't go down till nine. All right. So I pulled out the blood money. And she thought this was cute. I forgot how to open it. Hey, Andrea. Hello. Everybody, so I thought I would do a nice green look since St. Patty's Day is tomorrow. I do have the giveaway under my my feet here. I thought, like, you know, I would use the Orgy palette, but then I was like, well, that's no fun because this is, you know, um, St. Patty's Day is coming, right? So, yeah, I'm like, huh, perfect time to use it. I'm going to bring all these brushes forward here. Um, I actually got the blood money, I think, through Mystery Box. Yeah. So I was like, huh, I actually don't mind it. I was really surprised because it is very, very pretty. Like, the Poison Ivy is just simply amazing. So if I missed your um, comments, I apologize. I'm kind of in and out of it um, today. So I'm going to try to. I actually even have Crocodile Tears here. And it has crocodile up tears here. Um, I do have a look. Oh, that's awesome. I, I know I want to get blue blood. Um, that's the only one I'm missing besides alien. And I know like with blue eyes, I wasn't big on blue growing up. Um, but I really don't think it's like bad colors to wear i mean you just have to find the blue that suits you the blue that i grew up with is definitely not the same as the blues that um that are out there now and i'm thankful for that so i'm actually going to go in with crocodile tears and i'm actually just going to kind of put it everywhere and then i was thinking about doing like oh i forgot what the name of it now i'll have to think of it but uh yeah, uh, I can't remember the name of what I want to do, and then, uh, but I'll, I'll figure it out. We're just going to have fun tonight. I just need a nice, fun night. Um, I don't know how many of you are on my Facebook, but uh, I've had some 
news today. I uh, finally got to the job I've been trying to get for the last couple weeks. It finally, they finally got back to me. Um, they said I have the job, but not the original job that I was applying for because they had some management changing and um, so I lost out on that job, but uh, I will be casual. I'll be call in. But she says that um, I shouldn't have any issues with that because she figures during the summer it'll be busier for me. I'm actually going to, oops, flip this one. Um, I'll have to take a look. Right now, just my skin tends to grab. I must have put that primer up too high from me because sometimes it grabs and you can kind of see that there's, and that's not the, the actual pigment itself. It's um, the way that it's being grabbed. I never really liked his brushes when I first got them, but then I realized afterwards it's not even the brushes, it's the way that I work the brushes. So I had to had to let go of that thought. I actually was told like how good his products were and then I was like, oh, I don't know if I believe that. And then, you know, you hear the stuff that's going on and then, yeah, like, But not all colors are great at, you know. It's funny, um, the the manager at the Palmerston one here, she calls me and she's like, are you still interested in this job? I'm like, I was holding up for this job. Yes, I'm still interested in it. So it only says there's four people on here. I thought there was more than that, but maybe... Oh, there's. Yeah. Hello. So, I know. Um, Listwell does um a big to do about uh the. St. Patty's Day. Do you guys like have any events? I'm gonna clean this all up, so don't worry about that. I know you guys are so worried. <laughs> oh. Okay, let me go in. Um I meant to go in with crocodile tears and I actually went in with Jaded. Oh, are you watching me on TV? Oh, I'm going to kind of tap in some crocodile tears, just, you know. Kind of add some a dimension to it. So how many of you guys have kids home from March break right now? And how many of them are driving absolutely wild? I have to admit, Avalon's been pretty good. Today was, uh, um, Avalon's been so easy. It doesn't help that, uh, like, Monday and Tuesday I had to take time off, like, just to sit on the couch and not do anything. Seriously, what am I doing here? I don't know, Andrea. Um, I mentioned to her. Oh, hold on one second here. Let's see if I can. Oops. Oh, okay. Okay. 
So I just want to see if I can, oops, I should be able to share this. Um, yeah, mine does too. She's like, she can speak, but she just, I don't know, like, she, she just feel like she's like, I don't, I can speak mom, but I don't really want to. And it's like, seriously, kid, just speak to me. I am your mother. So I'm actually going to go in with, there's so many green shades in here that I want to use right now. I want to use Poison Ivy. Then I want to use Black Card. Huh. Ooh. Um black card limit so maybe i'll use a black card limit as eyeliner that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna use poison ivy so yeah i just sent that to a few people the link there you are yeah yeah she says she's not feeling very well either and honestly i wasn't uh feeling the greatest today i kind of Overdid it with coffee and pop, so, but I'll see if she's coming. But. So, yeah, um, it's, Avalyn had Friday and then all of this week off, and we were going to go to the um, museum in... Kitchener, but uh, it's going to be really nice here. So I think we're going to stay home and go outside. Well, I thought I'd do green because, you know, it's perfect. St. Patty's Day is coming. I think there's beauty in all color. I honestly do. Um, you can find almost every color and like make a look out of it, I think. So what is, if you guys win, what is the most exciting thing in this box that you are like wanting? Like, so there's the Orgy palette. Um, there's a lip gloss some little minis i have it right here thank you andrea all right so let's pull this up here so yeah there's oh yeah because i did keep the mini because the mini was the oh yes so there's the grove ranch lipstick which is super cute there's calabas liner this is heaven's gate this one's super super pretty um razor blade which is a super awesome shade from the weirdo palette um yak farm of course is from ranch star ranch only child it looks like it i wonder if that's from jawbreaker Owl Eyes is probably from, nope. Oh, and Weirdo, of course. Only Child, that's the only one I don't know. Whoops, sorry guys. Hello. So, whoops, that is here. Um. Oh, uh, the, the ranch girl is really, really pretty. So I am starting another box. It's just a small one right now. I found a palette that's never been used. And uh, so I'll be starting that. But I was thinking about doing, um, if you guys are interested, and I'll put it put a feel out and then um, I'll decide. And then I'm going to set up a whole new way of uh, entering. Um so uh 
Yes. Um, I was thinking about doing a $100 US gift card. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> I love all your comments, guys. Um, I was thinking about doing a hundred US dollars to doll 10 and doing like a month long for that and then having a, uh, a giveaway um, where you can enter possibly even more than once. Um, but I haven't decided yet. Let me know if that's the thing. All you have to do is say yes, doll 10 or no doll 10. Um, if not, is there somewhere else that you would like like it to, to go like... Because I know a lot of people, like, when you see me trying on things, it'd be nice for you to be able to try them. And I do know that they have, like, a beginner's kit for, like, $62. And it's, like, um, it's like some of their products is, like, a, a foundation, concealer, brush, and I think a lip product and a um, cheek product. So, <laughs> Andrea, have you got your stuff, Andrea? Andrea um, won $50 gift card from Doll10, and um, yeah. Okay, so I was thinking about putting um, a different color in the middle here. Um, it's mainly neutrals only because... Okay, um, see here in Canada, we can't get um, Ultra, uh, Alta, Alta, yeah. So that's a little bit of a... A, a niffy but we can do a morphe gift card um but uh doll 10 is mostly uh neutral colors because they're more of a natural line so they were clean beauty before you know clean beauty was a thing so they don't use talic in their eyeshadow and in order to get like these deep deep colors you do have to use talic but, I mean, they've got other products that are really, really something else. Um, the Makeup Removing Balm is absolutely amazing. Um, I will also say, if you can get your hands on any other skincare, you will be surprised. Like, you better off this video and, the, and grab it and go to bed. And when you wake up tomorrow, you can open it and it can be like a new day. New present and it'll put you in a better state of mind. Um, uh, their under eye stuff is amazing. So I got the overnight resurfacing. And do you guys remember how... Like this was really, really dark. And that's with nothing on. And I've been using it every night. And that, little, that jar lasted me three months. Every night. I almost put this on my forehead. Um... But yeah, uh, they're also coming out with a mushroom serum, um, which is going to be really, really amazing. No, and that's such a, I tried winning something tonight. And of course, you know, my luck, I did not win. I spent way too much money trying to win it. So, no, I haven't. Um, I do have about $200 in gift cards for Jeffree Star, so I can use it for that. But I was thinking about waiting and using it for, like, a mystery box or he's got another makeup line coming. So I thought maybe I'd wait for that. I, there's such mixed reviews from everybody right now that I just don't feel like it's worth the $200 necessary, necessarily. But I might pick up the Makeup Removing Balm because I would really like to try that in the toner because I am at a toner. But like I said, I'm kind of waiting. Um, I'm going to go in. Okay, guys. There's Money Heist, CEO, or the Black Card Limit, or even this one, Secret Stash. Okay, so Money Heist, CEO, Secret Stash, or Black Card Limit for right in the middle. What do you guys think? I mean, the Divine Intervention would look good, too, but I'm, I've already used it, so I kind of want to go with the new one. What do you guys think? And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to kind of clean up this a little bit. Okay, so we got one for CEO. Because he's, apparently, I think he's launching something new soon, too, if I can remember, Money Honey. 
Money Heist. Oh, we got two for Money Heist. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with Money Heist. I'm getting a lot of requests for that one. And then I can use the Black Hard Lemon as eyeliner. I think that's what I do. On the bottom, not so much the top, because the top's gonna look fine without it. Okay, so let's go in with Money Heist. This one I'll probably have to build up a bit, but. Did I even get any on the brush? So Andrea, do you mind me asking, is it still your, your are you being a long hauler today? To be fair, that's not just them. That's a lot of brands. And I can tell you that from experience because even, um, cause it's like an oil, there must be an oil in it. And I find that the same with Dalton. Um, and then I think I've tried the pharmacy one and it's done it. And there's another one that has done it to me. And it really freaks me out because of the issues with the nerve and whatever. But then I've come to realize it's just the makeup balm and that's the only time it happens. So it's funny that like if you didn't know that's what's happening and I don't like to like, I just thought that was a regular thing. Don't mind the nails. I had them all done nicely and then, you know, dishes, kids, and then dishes. Have you heard that expression, Andrea? Um, when you have COVID, you can become a long hauler. That means that your symptoms don't dissipate within the three to five days. Sorry, I'm having so much fun right now. I'm like. <laughs> so the reason why I love Poison Ivy, like the color is beautiful itself, but I mean, Poison Ivy was one of my favorite, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, super villain, villains with uh, um, Batman. <laughs> Give me a second here. I'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of my face. Do you guys want to see me use the Dalton um, Luminous today? Are you guys okay with that? Um, and I'll use their con or, um, concealer. I love this. I really, really love this. This is one of the few... Um, what is it called? Uh primers that I really like that and the um glam glow one it's the other one I like I have sparkles on my hands oh you guys are awesome I know at Christmas time I had a lot of people using my um yes exactly and she played in the movie with Arnold, Schwarze Arnold Schwarzenegger oh Mr. Freeze was my favorite bad guy because I mean he had or you know like he didn't have a reason like the rest of them, you know, did. And Danny DeVito playing uh, Penguin. So the new Batman's out. And Lucas and I are talking about going to see that. Now you guys are getting me happy again. <laughs> I was so sad about losing the Jeffree Star thing. Uh, but yeah, we're talking about going to see Batman. So maybe we'll do that next week. I love, I love Batman, I, Batman, but I don't like, I'm not like one of those people that goes back and nitpicks at everything. I just take things the way that I think they should be taken. Oh my gosh, you can see all the green. Oh, I bet you any money did I? Oh, I gotta, gotta redo that. 
Look at my cat. Okay, I'll have to redo that. Ah! Okay. Do this again. But, uh, yeah, um, Robert Patterson is playing the new. And I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But you know what? I'm going to give it a try. Don't go with the rapid test if you can get like a one from there. Honestly, it sounds like you do, and I wouldn't. Oh, I love you. I honestly, I would be surprised that um, my friend had issues with a, the the rapid test too. So, for the new Batman, I'm getting you now. It takes me a few seconds, but I got you. Yes, um, I'm. Uh, I am kind of excited to see that. I'm so excited! I forgot what I was doing, guys. Like, but yeah. Um, oops, there we go. And yes, um, Doll 10 is launching. Yeah. And you know what? We got to, you got to leave them there because I mean, he was young and yeah. And Anna Kendrick's in it. And it's so funny because she jokes around about not even remembering being in that movie, which is hilarious. I love Anna, Anna Kendrick. She is awesome. I find her so funny and like so sweet at the same time. Um, They will, as far as I know, they are, but it might be just for healthcare workers. And that's what my friend, uh, friend's little, little girl, she's a healthcare worker and she's a little girl, right? Um, <laughs> she's still a little girl in my eyes. She grew up with my daughter, so, um, but yeah. It's funny, it goes through Tim Hortons today and, uh, the, the person that handed me my food was real or kind of figured out who I was. She's like, you're Paige's mom, aren't you? And I'm like, yeah. And I remember when Paige was younger, her, um, her friends would all call her Paige, Paige R because there was two to three pages in her class, right? Um, you should be past the contagious stage. But your health unit should be helping you out here. And it's funny because Avalyn had COVID and they to told me that she didn't because she didn't have any of the symptoms. And then her, um, her test came back positive. So, but yeah, um, for the longest time, I was Paige R's mummy or Pager's mummy. And for a very long time, Paige thought her name was Paige R. Pager. She argued with me. No, mommy, my name is Pager. I'm like, no, it is Paige. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's funny because Avalyn does the same thing with Avalyn. Like, I, Av, can I call you Avi? No, it's Avalyn. And I'm like, oh my gosh. When they learn their names, it's hilarious. Oh, um, has anybody seen Adam Project on Netflix? Yeah, and they're just going to assume it's COVID. If I'm correct. It was good. Some Somebody was saying like it was too boring, but I'm not like into those kinds of movies, but uh, 
It was shot in Canada. It was shot out in BC. And, uh, like, this one, like, is long, and this one's just so short. It is definitely worth seeing. Yes. So, yeah, there, because, you know, Ryan Reynolds is Canadian. He actually even put out a little, um, what is it called? Uh, it's a movie on Netflix. It's um, got Ryan Reynolds in it from, from everything, Deadpool especially. Um, but, um, oh gosh, where was I going now? Um, he did an advert for it on Netflix. And I don't know if you guys remember, if you're <laughs> from the 90s and you live in Canada, you'll remember those Canadian uh, advertising ones that talk about the house hippo. So yeah, he's like, go watch the Adam Project. Oh, and I'm supposed to tell you house hippos aren't real. <laughs> yeah, don't go to the ER if you don't need to. If you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, you can actually go and you can type in house hippos and you can see the the ad that came out in the 90s and it was against advertising standards. Here in Canada, we have very strict advertising standards. So I cannot go on buy an ad and say, buy this palette and you'll get rich. That is not allowed. Um, and you're not allowed to have uh, medication ads here. So like, um, I... I think Tylenol and Advil are about the, basically the only ones and like um, some maybe some flu flu and cough and cold medications. But uh, nothing like the U.S. where you see um, if you have asthma or if you have erectile dysfunction, you know, suggest this to your doctor. Um, yeah, we're not allowed to have that kind of stuff here. I'm all interested in a product and then th those product and then it says, oh, you know. <laughs> Don't take this if you have this, this, or this, or that. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so I think that's funny myself. But um, yeah. Is my teen still here? I wonder if she's still here. I know if she was. Yes, you can't. Absolutely. We have a very, very, very different standard. So I'm going to go in with black card limit. So they came out with this ad in the 90s to remind us that, you know, don't believe everything you see on the um, TV. And it's funny. Every time I watch that house hippo one, I get so excited for a house hippo. And then at the end, I was completely gutted. No money. How many times I watched it? And then they started joking about it online and I got all excited about the house hippos again. I'm like, damn it, people, stop talking about the house hippos. So I did spray a little bit of um, the spray on the um, the mist on it. Not my eyes will smell good. I'll try not to keep you up too late. I know this mirror is really. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm gonna just send this again to somebody else. I'm not sure why. Sorry, guys. I just want to. Oh, it's not bringing up my. Oh, it's not. You know what? Just give me a second here. I'm going to. Martine, I'm just going to send this to you quickly. Just ignore it. There we go. 
Okay, I gotta see if I can send this to somebody else that wants to be here. So just give me a second, guys. I apologize. If it... Okay, so... Let's see if it'll pull it up here. Oh, Martina's back. Okay. Let's see here. I don't use my iPad for a whole lot. I use it most, like, when I go to bed, I put on a show and I'll, you know, watch it. So, um... It's really, really slow right now. Okay, there we go. All right, so I just wanna, actually I'm gonna get a different brush here. Actually, let's see if I can find, oh, there we go. This is the one I want. Oh, no. So I gotta, um, has anybody ordered from Ziesta Cosmetics? I did this month. Um, so I was kind of hoping to hear from them by now, but I haven't. I really hope their box does really well because it looks like it should. So I'm going to go in with another color just to kind of make that feel a little bit brighter, but I'm going to. You're welcome. I'm glad you could come. So I'm using Z Esta. I probably have that wrong. Z E um Z E S E A C A or something. Mind you, their stuff is coming from um coming from china so i may not get anything i don't know i haven't like this is the first month with them so i thought i'd like kind of see how it goes so i'm going to go in with mint condition here yes hello thank you guys so much for joining me tonight you guys are really lifting my spirits yes Zizia, I have no idea how to say it. So if somebody wants to send me a way to say it, I am really bad. Oh my gosh. I'm glad you got me live too. I'm so happy. I'm trying to do a nice like, um, what does that look called? Uh, St. Patty's Day look. I really like this mint condition. Yeah, I've heard that uh, their makeup really isn't like the, you know, the next big, big thing sort of thing. But um, the Chinese and the Asians are, um, yeah. Um, yes. Oh, do they? I haven't seen this month. Um, I did watch Just Anne and that's the only one. And then she got like a foundation and then the next video... Um, she didn't, she didn't like it. 
And then she tried it like Pure Cosmetics. Um, I think it was eye primer or mascara or something. And it was really, really bad. She goes, I don't do these videos normally, but I had to come on. And I was just, I thought my phone was vibrating and I'm looking for it. It's right there. Um, but yeah. And uh, I haven't finished watching it. I'm trying to get into watching other YouTubers. The only thing with me watching other YouTubers, I find that I pick up their opinion and I don't have much of one of my own. So I try not to. And I'm not big on clickbaits. I do not like them. I just saw one for a Cassandra saying Jeffree Star should stick to um, makeup. And I don't think that's very fair for somebody to say that. They could say it's not for them or that they don't like it. I'm not a big bully when it comes to my opinion. I like to be... Not, like I like to say that yes I like the product and these are the reasons why but I'm not going to go around and say well I don't like this product and you should not buy it because that is your own money and you should be able to feel confident and say yeah I bought it you know like but that's how I feel and I like I'm very neutral about a lot of things and I find that maybe people don't like that because I'm not like oh you should buy this or you shouldn't buy this you know like I hate that, and I like it about me. <laughs> Very conflicted. So I am using the Kat Von D. Yes, and you know what? If he has a miss on it, then that's him, right? Is You know, like, you're going to miss step, and I don't like that about people. Like, their past is their past, and you need to look at their future. I'm not saying that about everybody and everything. I mean, if somebody has killed somebody and they've done their time and they are remorseful and whatever, then yeah, okay. But am I going to trust them with my child? Probably not. <laughs> but I mean, everybody grows up and everybody changes. And, you know, sometimes I like to hold my opinion back of people and see what their actions are. And if their actions follow what they were saying, then yes, I'll forgive them and move on. But if their actions aren't the same, then no. It is. I'm sorry, guys. We're 42 minutes into this. Holy moly. This is what happens when I start talking about uh, movies. Speaking of which, has anybody seen the new Scream? Are you guys Scream fans? I need to know this. Did I miss anybody saying if they were a Scream fan? No. Um, have you seen the new Scream? Oh um, my gosh. I went to it and I have decided. Hey, that's, that's never a bad thing. Yeah. And you know what? Like he's trying, he was trying to make a skincare line that was vegan and cruelty free and so on and so forth. So, I mean, at least he's putting some effort behind it and he was involved in the process. He's also, um, and if you guys are like, I mean, America is very much about, hey, what can we buy in our country? And he's very much like that. And uh, yeah, I fall asleep to the first scream all the time. Actually, all four of them. I ha No, three of them I have on my iPad. I do not have four and I do not have five. Five I will be getting. You can count on that because I am a massive scream, scream lover. Love it. Um, so anyway, the new scream, I was so blown away by the the acting um what, what else do i want to say here just so much about it like the acting i loved loved the the um the storyline to it oh so anyway uh last night i was a little bit bored and i just needed to get my mind off of things so um i saw uh nev um and david and then a few other um 
stars from the new one were on and they were doing who said it whose line is this between dewey gail and sydney and i got them right and then they had uh um another one and i got all of them almost all of them right oh who killed i think who killed who no it was a bunch of random trivia questions like yeah in the you know the first scream who died first and we all think it's Casey, but it's actually the boyfriend. Um, actually, this is the Baddington brush that we got from uh, BoxyCharm. And uh, I'm hoping it's Nathan because, uh, is it, yeah, Nathan. Nathan was really, you know, like he was good to Nathan from what I understand. And, you know, they were a good couple. They just... Things got different. Like, he didn't want to be in the, uh, oh, oh, maybe. X house. I get it. Going to the one in, um, California. And that was cruel, whoever played that trick on him, pretending to be interested in buying his house and then it all being, like, a fake thing. That is not right. Okay. So I pulled this out. I'm so sorry, guys. I know if you guys, ha if you guys have to go make supper, I'll try to get to it soon. Let's just do this and and then we'll get to <laughs> forgot how I will say that the first couple uh, screams are not gory. They do have blood um, compared to like Halloween or chainsaw the chainsaw massacre. yeah. Scream is probably the best one. I haven't seen all of the saws, oddly enough. Um, but um, I did see the new Chainsaw Massacre, and it was amazing. There was only a couple parts I didn't like. Look at that. Okay, what do you guys think? Andrea, if you're still here, I hope this has made you feel a little bit better. I hope it's making you forget that you're not feeling so well. I kind of feel like a stripper right now. And that's actually not a bad feeling, feeling comfortable and confident. I'm not going to put on a belly shirt, though, because, yeah, nope. No. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put on some setting powder. What did I do with it? Uh, let's go with Anastasia. I got some serious. Oh, you know what? I actually kind of wanted to use some of this, but I'll do it tomorrow. I got in some stuff. It follows is good too. Um, there's a, a television series called Slash, Slash or something. And it was on Netflix and I really liked it because it was like three seasons and it was so good. So like the first season, thank you. I actually really, really like this. Look, you guys are like so awesome at helping me feel confident and good. You know, other people are like, they just, you know, they're able just to look at a palette and it pops on and, you know, I hope they feel as good as I feel when they've done their makeup like that. Because, yeah, this is an awesome feeling. And then I got to go wash it off. I think I might wait till Lucas comes home and then do it. But, yeah, anyway, so there's three or four seasons, and every season is different. So the first season, they move into a killer house, and it's actually the daughter that lived there, and then her dad stayed there or something, and then she moved back, and then people start dying off around her, and then you have to figure out who the killer is kind of thing. Loved it. And then there was like an apartment building. Oh, so good. I rarely ever like binge binge, but yeah, that one was one. And if you ever get a chance to watch Cabin 28. Oh no, I love when people message me. Sometimes I feel bad because like I'm in the middle of doing something, but if I can answer you, then yeah. Tell Martine and I, uh, it is Slasher. Martine and I became so such good friends. And Andrea. Like, we don't, we live it. Actually, one doesn't even live in the province. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's always good. 
And I'm really bad because I feel like I'm bothering people, so I don't. Okay. I know it's green, but this is really nice. Like, okay, I'm going to stop looking at myself in the mirror. Okay, so I'm just going to put away these brushes, and then we're going to do the giveaway, okay? Um, you guys have been awesome. I got some stuff in um, today, so uh, I'll do a video for that tomorrow. And then if you guys, it seems like you guys would love um, a doll tan gift card. Um, <laughs> I will. I, 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 I'm trying to get out of that. That's my one of my kind of goals this year is to, to realize that people do like to help. They're a lot like me where, you know, they do want to help and I want to help. So these brushes were $90. Now, I don't think that's necessarily true. I would never pay $90 for them, but they are decent brushes. Those are the ones from... Also, Monday, Doll 10 is launching a new serum, brand new serum. So if you got some money, I suggest heading over there and grabbing it. You can use my code on it and it should work for that. Um, if you guys ever are just perusing the website, go to my description and click on that doll 10 link. It will track you for 30 days. And if you make any purchases, even without using the code, um, I would definitely do it, Martine. Even if you don't use the code, it still gives me credit for it. And that credit obviously helps me get some free stuff from Doll Time when they see that I am really trying to push their, their stuff. I'm not trying to push it, but. Andrea's got to get out her stuff and she's going to give you guys her opinion for next Wednesday. That's your, your, um, your homework for the weekend. Open that up and tell me how you like everything. She got the setting powder. Definitely, you know, just because if you're feeling that way, there's likely somebody else that's feeling that way. So I had a lot of people in this time, I think at 45 entries, which is super exciting. Um, I will likely ship this out tomorrow. If not, it will be Friday because I do have some plans for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. So yeah. And then I do ask that if you get it, if you guys can tag me on Instagram, if you have Instagram or Twitter or even Facebook, if you have it on Facebook, you can um, just put the link to my um, YouTube channel and just let everyone come over. Um, if, when he does another box, I will get it again and I'll keep doing this because you guys really, really like it and you guys really seem to like my opinion on things. So I really like that and I really, uh, yeah, and I love his stuff. But I will tell you if I don't. Okay, guys, are we ready? Okay. I think she's here. Are you here? Um, I actually don't know your full name, but I know that uh, Yvette, you were so close. You were so close. You're like right here too. Um, I know she's been on the channel for a very long time. So I am so excited. So I will be starting a new way to do uh, giveaways. I'm just gonna set up the email tonight or tomorrow. And then I'll start set up a month long um, giveaway for a hundred US dollars for doll 10. Oh, I know, but I have so many giveaways. So hopefully, did you guys see who that was? It was YS. I know she, ha she has more to her name, but I do know that she's usually on here. So, um, thought I saw her but I may not have but anyway I do know that she watches the video so yay um YS um I know she I I kind of just kind of like typed as little as I possibly can just because you know I don't want them their um their full information so I always just type the first first name and then the initial but uh I know she commented on both um, but yes, uh, Jeffree Star will be having another mystery box, so I will be getting it, and I will be doing a giveaway 
with it. Maybe Beautylish will do one and I'll have to get it too. Um, but yes, I'm going to be setting up that $100 gift card tomorrow so you guys could win that. And then you could pick out your own products and you could get, look how amazing this um, foundation is. Like, I know you can see my birthmark. That's only because I didn't put a whole bunch on tonight. But um, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with my birthmark either, right? So I'm not sure. I would imagine maybe a summer one like he did this year. But he was saying that uh, he's coming up with a new launch. And maybe in that launch, I can grab something extra, like maybe the palette or lipstick or something even. And I can do a giveaway with that. Um, I'm so close to hitting the 4,000 hours. And any money that... Uh, um, any money from that, I'll definitely be putting back into the channel and buying new boxes and stuff like that. So, but I got my replacement Ipsy. So, um, yes, I have and I haven't. So I'm going to look more into it because if it's not that much to ship to Canada, I might just do that one too because they have them. Um, um, yeah, I might try to check into that one. Then um, I got my, uh, I got the Huda palette. Somebody, I got the Huda. I've never had a full, a large Huda palette. So um, maybe I'll do a look tomorrow with that one. If not, I'll do a look tomorrow with another look for, with the blood money because it is St. Patrick's Day. Are they? Okay. Okay, guys. I will look into that. Maybe not tonight, but I will definitely look into it. Okay, I'm going to go take some pictures of, of this look. <laughs> and oh, I just, I don't know if you guys saw me. I was using actually the... I think this is the bronze blood. And it kind of looks nice without the uh, the look. But yes, I'll set that all up and we'll do a video hopefully tomorrow. If not, it'll be Friday because tomorrow I may not be here for most of the day. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys can go ahead and like this video, it helps out. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you, Andrea, for staying. Oh, yes. Um, yes, that, uh, yes. Um, Chrissy's, if anyone's looking for a brand new orgy, I think she wants to trade, uh, let me know. You can message me and let me know, and I'll try to set up for you. Um, I'm not, I'm just going to my mother-in-law's, that's it. <laughs> I'm done driving. I am done. Have a good night, guys. I love yous.